Folks, today we are here in Sevierville, Tennessee, in front of the Dolly Parton Reds Cafe mural here. Of course, you all know the story. Dolly has told it many a times. She had her first cheeseburger at a restaurant called Reds. Just recently, they opened a new Reds. It's an ice cream parlor, not in the same location. Technically not the same scenario, but it is named after the famous cafe, Reds. We're gonna explore that, and we're gonna take a little walk around downtown Sevierville, see what's going on, see what's new. We are proud to call Sevierville our hometown. Dawn, are you ready? Ready, let's do, let's do this. Red's Cafe was one of my favorite places to go. In fact, I used to go over and over and over after I got to be pretty grown up and got in high school. But the first time I ever got to go to Red's Cafe, I had a bad toothache and my dad had took me from the mountains because we, we had to get a ride to get out to go to the dentist. And daddy took me to eat the first hamburger I'd ever had, me with a tooth all swelled out to here. <laughs> so I couldn't eat my french fries and my hamburgers. And daddy said, well, honey, I'll take you back on a better day. And he did. It was A Dolly-inspired butterfly, a monarch butterfly. Yes, you know Dolly would be proud of this of this photo opportunity, and uh, it's a grand one at that. And if you've been watching our channel over the years, you'll know that we love downtown Sevierville. Uh, we come down here quite often, almost on a nightly basis. We take a walk around town. Uh, just a really nice area. It is the hometown nestled here in the Great Smoky Mountains. And all of our travels across the United States, we always stop in downtowns. Some need a little help, but Sevierville is a very nice downtown. They went through a revitalization just recently. Uh, they have new, new streets. In fact, there's actually a story about this there's a lot of history in these streets, and that is the old jail cell to the old Sevier County, Sevierville County Jail. And, of course, there's a tragic story uh, behind the old Sevier County Jail. They repurposed a lot. Uh, they, the streets have all been repaved, new shrubbery, and there's a new eatery in town. There's a lot of new eateries here, but there's a new one that we're going to try out today called Red's. Red's Ice Cream Shop Parlor. It's located uh, just around the corner here, right in front of the Dolly statue. We're gonna go over there and check out the Dolly statue like we always do. But you have a lot of great eats, like the Appalachian right here. Uh, it's kind of a, I would consider an upscale uh, Appalachian type menu. Uh, they also have great barbecue downtown, great burgers at Gray's. Gray's is just around the corner. In fact, I can smell Gray's as we speak. Yeah. It smells good, doesn't it? But we're not here for burgers. We're here for some ice cream today. Ice cream. ice cream, right? And who doesn't like ice cream? In fact, I wouldn't mind having that cheeseburger that Dolly is. And let's take a closer look at this mural. We always show it, but I don't think we get deep into it. Of course, you can see the, you know, the bar stools, the, you know, the old soda fountain stools behind Dolly. And she's just looking at that that cheeseburger. Of course, that would be her very first cheeseburger. Yeah, of course. That must be red, right? We assume that's red. It might not have been red that day. It might have been maybe his brother, Mike. I don't know. You think red had a brother, Mike? Who knows? He might have. We, we can just, but it's probably red, I'm assuming. It is a beautiful day here in downtown Sevierville. A little cool out. And it was raining this morning. It rained all day yesterday. We wanted to do this yesterday, but the rain, I was like, yeah, we better do it on a day. It's not so rainy. Uh, but yeah, it's a 
beautiful, beautiful day. And we're gonna take a little walk down, talk a little bit of history. Uh, there's some more Dolly history. We're gonna touch up on that too. The folks have been following us long enough. They'll say, Will, you've went over this, but we're gonna do it again, seeing uh, you know that the new restaurant had open. And it's always great to see new businesses come into a downtown. Um, and Sevierville's got a lot of new stuff going on downtown here. And um, I'm super excited for it. I have a lot of, I, I'm, I'm optimistic, I guess, that this can come back to be, you know, great again. This here used to be the old Sevierville post office. Now it's the historical society. It's their historic museum. I have never been in there. You gotta, you gotta have an appointment to see it. I need to make an appointment one day. But there is a lot of history. In fact, uh, here's some of the rails that used to go down the center of the street here. And they used to call the train the old slow and easy. I'm assuming because it was slow and easy. And you can see in the road, these little metal rails they put in. When they redid the streets, they wanted to give a little shout out to history here. And that's where the train used to run right down the street here. And so pretty much the train ran from Sevierville to Knoxville. I got some old photos here. In fact, there's an old train station that says Sevierville on there. The old slow and easy. And there's a railroad trussel bridge crossing the Little Pigeon River here. Yep, right here, old slow and easy, chugging towards Sevierville. You know, when that train blew its whistle, when it headed in the town, people would run to it. They would see if their packages were here. You know what I mean? It was a lot of, you know, who was coming in the town. It might even meant that you were going on a little trip to Knoxville. And back then, going to Knoxville was probably a big thing. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, like taking a trip. You know, you only do maybe once or twice a year. But, um, wow. Yeah, a lot of history here. Of course, you have Sim's Barber Shop, Mr. Sim. Yeah, he's in there probably right now. You can get your hair cut, get you looking good. Yeah, Sevier County Heritage Museum. Open by an appointment. I'm gonna have to make an appointment one day. And they still have an old time hardware store down here. Cash Hardware. And here's a newer monument they just put up just recently. They call it Tracks of Time. So when they were redoing Bruce Street, they were digging down into the earth. And these came forth. They came out of the ground. It was some of the original tracks that the old Slow and Easy ran on. They decided to display them here as a little memory that the old slow and easy used to run through the center of downtown right here on Bruce Street and yet again these little metal strips is is how it ran ran right through town so a lot of history today we're gonna head over to the Pines Theater where Dolly got her real first big gig and she's often said that's where she really started was at the Pine Cedar. She was, I think she, I don't know how old she was. I think she was 11 years old. Could be wrong. But Dolly often said that's where she got her start was the Pines Theater. And that progressed into what we know her today as. And so you have Trotter's Whole Hog and Gray's Burgers just over there. There are some of the newest restaurants in town. And everybody is getting ready for St. Patrick's Day. Jolene, 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 Jolene. She has a little shop on Bruce Street. Yeah, a nice little gift store over here called Jolene. Usually has a little bit of little bit of Dolly stuff in there. Um, actually. And Jolene, it looks like. It's out of business. Of course, there's a great big mural of Dolly over there, but oh my goodness. Yeah, used to have all kinds of stuff in here. 
Now well, that's the problem with downtowns. Unfortunately, not enough people come down sometimes to, to make. It's saying that um, Jolene's welcome. We're open and come on and use the side door, but then it says close, come back, and we'll use a card yeah. for you. Find out who you are and do it on purpose, Dolly. And I can't hardly tell with the reflection, but yeah, there's that mural in there. So the store is empty. I'm assuming it's not here. Or maybe they're going through a remodel. We can only hope. It was a really cool store. But I have a feeling, yeah, just didn't have enough business to, to keep it going, you know. And it's sad. It's sad. Uh, you know, we these downtowns are our history. And Here on the corner of Joy and Main is the Pines Theater. This is where Dolly got her start uh, it's the exact same building. It's the exact same location. It's changed over the years, but it's now made its way back to the name Pines. And it's a little little eatery, a little... It's a nighttime venue now. They have music, uh, trivia, um, all kinds of great stuff in there. They have the, um, you know, the, the bowling. And, but anyways, great place to come. They have trivia on 7 o'clock p.m. Burgers and beers. On the other side of the Pines is Pinchies, and they are extremely busy today. They got a lot of folks over there. Got some music. Yeah, it's happening. Despite of some of the businesses being closed down here, I have went out of business, there are a lot that are still thriving. Pinchies was crazy busy. Now we're going to head over to the Dolly statue, and then across the street to the new Reds. I'm excited for this. And a must stop while you're visiting the Great Smoky Mountains, especially if you're a Dolly fan, is the Dolly statue. And yes, I think we start, we have started a lot of vlogs, ended a lot of vlogs here. And we probably visit this location at least, what, 10, 15, 20 times a year? Yeah. Easily. We pass it every single day. We make our rounds. There you go. Gotta get your photo with, with the, the one and only, right? Mm -hmm. The courthouse, the Dolly statue, and right over there, and that very last building there, just before you get to the, the old Central Hotel, is Red's. Just a short little walk, a little history here of Dr. Massey's bird dog. Yeah, so he used to take the daily receipts and he would head off to the bank. His dog would head off to the bank, make his deposit for him, and then he would head back home. Of course, there's a little statue here, and you can read a little bit about it. You can click, stop your, you know, pause your screen. But he would put his little pouch in his mouth, and then he would, he would give it to the teller. I couldn't even get Honey Bear to, you know, do anything, really. <laughs> Honey, bark. She liked to bark, yeah, yeah. yeah. Red Soda Fountain and Ice Cream, Sevierville, Tennessee, 1946. So they have an old soda jerk, they have milkshakes, they have malts, they have um, hand-dipped ice cream, um, everything here. You got floats, sodas, banana, splits. I love that they kept the old ceilings in here. I love the decor. They are quite busy here. Everybody's all sitting around the fountain, just like they did in the old times. 
and we decided to get a banana split to share. It's great to see everybody downtown, you know what I mean, um, enjoying, enjoying this area. And that's the banana split. Oh my goodness, look at that. Even the cherry on top, sprinkled with uh, some, some nuts, right? You got chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla, which are traditional. A little pineapple, a little uh, cherry sauce, and then you have the chocolate drizzle over here. And it, it looks perfect. It does. It looks good. Look at that. Wow. So the folks here are very warm and welcoming. In fact, um, we we kind of got messed up. We went paid at the register when you're supposed to go to the to the fountain first. So she came out. She's like, "I apologize. You guys want anything on the house?" And we're like, "No, that's our mistake because we did it backwards." I did it backwards. So if you come here, go to the, the soda fountain, the jerk, you know, soda jerk first. Get your ice cream, then go pay for it. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, I think makes sense. I, I think we were backwards, anyways. I just saw a bunch of people overpaying for things. I figured, well, that's what you do, right? But anyways, what do you? How do you want to get into this? I'm just gonna take the scoop of this out of the center here. here. I, I, I got strawberry. And I want to try the vanilla, right? So this is hand dipped ice cream. Mm. Mm. Okay. Strawberry was good. Very vanilla y, right? A lot of vanilla. That would take away the chocolate. Very good. Mm. The whipped cream is present. The whipped cream, oh, I can't talk. <laughs> the whipped cream is um, very pleasant. Uh, there is a banana down in there. That's good to know, right? Try the strawberry ice cream. Who wants the cherry? I'm gonna take the cherry. Dawn always gets the cherry. That's just the way it is. Always been that way. Uh, I think it was like when we got married, in our vowels it says that Dawn always gets the cherry on top. Yes, I wanna try some of this chocolate over here. Chocolate. Mm. Oh wow. Out of all three flavors, the chocolate is the best. Then the strawberry, then the vanilla. Um, vanilla is good. Yes. The, bowl the cherry syrup, the topping is really good. I want to try some of this banana though, man. I want to get into the banana. And there's that banana. Get yeah, they're pretty busy here. A lot of folks. I figured we'd come here, there'd be only a couple people. Um, and there's there's a lot, so that's good. And she said that this is their really first first big day, right? They said that this is their first like official day uh, for business. So yeah. Mm. So our banana split was ten dollars and ninety six cents. And that was Red's. It was good. I like when you walked in the door, it was just the open flow and Yes. I love the atmosphere obviously. They had some Coca-Cola, they had the soda jerks, and they actually worked. They were using it to make, mm -hmm. you know, like floats and that. Really good. Uh very warm welcome. Uh, we were kind of confused. So what you do is you go to the, the soda <laughs> I fountain first. Paid for it and so yeah, we went and paid for it because I saw people like, okay, we'll just pay, you know, we pay at the register, yeah. right? No, no, go to Soda Jerk first, you know, or go to the fountain, get your stuff, then pay for it. So we went and we sat down and we we're like, where's our stuff? That was my stuff? mistake. I should have ordered a person yeah, yeah, and then yeah. paid for it. So there's a helpful tip so you don't, mm -hmm. you don't look stupid like we did. <laughs> <laughs> the banana split is big enough for two folks yeah, easily. Yeah, big. It was, it was good. The ice cream was, was good tasting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I liked it. Uh, it's it's great to see this downtown. A uh, little little Dolly history. So you can come here, get your photo taken in front of the statue, go over to Red's, get some ice cream. Uh, I would like to see them maybe add hamburgers one day or something. Get a cheeseburger at Red's. That would be fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. It would be fun. Yeah. Downtown Sevierville is looking beautiful, as always. 
and it's always great to see new additions to this beautiful town. Folks, that's going to do it for today here in downtown Sevierville. If you guys like this vlog, also, if you haven't, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And we want to say thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch these little videos that we, we put out for you all and for us. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.